Welcome. This is Joe Amrosino from Seven Sports. And I'm Peyton Privatera coming to you live here from the Boston Garden. And you're watching Peyton, Peyton Priv, Priv TV. TV. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Peyton Priv TV. I'm Peyton Privatera. She probably have a basketball shirt on for this. There you go. Not only are we in the middle of the Stanley Cup Finals, but it is also NBA Finals Week. Last night, Game 1 took place between the Raptors and the Golden State Warriors in Toronto, and the Raptors came away with a 118-109 victory over Golden State. Now you don't need me to spit stats at you about the Golden State Warriors. This is their fifth Finals appearance in a row. We know exactly what to expect. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Andre Iguodala are going to show us exactly what they've been showing us for the past five postseasons in a row. The only wild cards in this series for Golden State are the uncertain health of Kevin Durant and Boogie Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins was in fact cleared for game one of the series, however he only played eight minutes and only scored three points. Kevin Durant, we're told, will make a return for the Golden State Warriors during the series, but the soonest that return will come will be during games three or four. Even with Kevin Durant out due to injury, DeMarcus Cousins out due to injury and a very visibly injured Andre Iguodala on the floor. The Golden State Warriors were able to sweep a very stacked Portland Trailblazers team with ease and I think they have nothing to worry about regardless of personnel during these finals. Now here to tell us what we can expect from the Eastern Conference champion Toronto Raptors during this series. I'm actually kind of warming up to this kid a little bit. A reporter from Peyton Priv TV's affiliate network up in Canada, Peyton Priv TSN, Brayton Kachiv. How are you, pals? It's me, your buddy, Brayton Kachev. I'm out here in Oshawa on my way to Toronto for a game two. Now, Brayton, tell me what the buzz and emotion is like up north, this being the first time a Canadian team has ever made the NBA Finals. Yeah, it's been absolute madness up here in Canada, bud. We're all rooting for the boys, hoping they can do what the Maple Leafs haven't done since 1967 and win the Stanley Cup. Now, Brayton, the Raptors have kind of been a perennially good team for this decade. Um, what do you think the difference was between this season and last season that puts them in a position to to win the Stanley Cup. Well, pal, they picked up this guy, Kawhi Leonard from San Antonio, and everyone keeps calling him the claw. That must mean he's got, like, big hands or something. Yeah, you know, he's pretty good. Who else on the hardwood floor do you think we should be watching for this series? I think the real difference maker for Toronto in this series is center iceman Marc Gasol. With a name like that, he's got to be from, like, Montreal, right, pal? Good, and how do you see this Raptors team matching up to the likes of Steph Curry? Is that the guy that injured Bobby Orr? No, no, brother, that would be Pat Quinn. You're thinking of Pat Quinn. Oh, oh, well, okay, okay. Well, if the Golden Seals get Pat Quinn, just throw Marc Gasol on him. He'll shut him right down, bud. <laughs> Golden Seals. You mean Golden State? Yeah, the, 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 the Golden State Seals. Whatever the names are. I don't know, bud. How do the finals work in this game again? Two, two, two game totals? Two game totals. I think the Toronto Raptors are going to beat the Golden State Seals 8-3 to three after two games. Awesome, awesome. That's kind of all the time we have for this segment, unless there's anything else that you want to say. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for having me on again, pal. Bill Hell throws the ball. Oh, yeah, right here, bud. And that is the end. Oh! Oh, my God! They will take a look at it. Now, for my favorite part of every show we do here at Peyton Crip TV, it's time for the guest predictions. Prior to Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals, my first guest, Joey Marcino from Channel 7, was nice enough to give me his time and let me know what his thoughts are on the series. Here's what he had to say. I'm Peyton Privatera here with Joey Marcino coming here from Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Now obviously we love our Boston Bruins here in the Cup Finals, but now we're going to shift gears and talk about the NBA Finals between the Golden State Warriors and the Eastern Conference Champions, Toronto Raptors. Now, Joe, what can we expect from this series? Peyton Priv, my man, this is what I usually say. You go with the best player in the series. In my opinion, it's Kawhi Leonard. He is the best player in the NBA right now. But Kevin Durant is just a hair less right now. And if he's healthy, that is a big problem for the Raptors. Then Golden State, of course, has the dangerous weapon, the 40-foot J that comes from Steph Curry. So in this case, I'm gonna go against myself. I'm not gonna take the best player in the series. I'm gonna go with the Golden State Warriors. All right, now Joe, I have a speculation question for you. 
Well, we all know Kawhi Leonard's contract comes to an end after this series. You think if they lose the series, that plays a factor to where he goes next season? I do think it, it plays a factor in it, but I think his decision's probably already made. They're in the NBA Finals right now. They're that close. I think there's a good chance he stays in Toronto. If it's not Toronto, all bets are off. He could go anywhere. Now, I know in this series are the wild card factors regarding the health of Kevin Durant and Boogie Cousins, but how do you see the series playing out? I'm going to have to go with Golden State in six. They're not going to sweep them, I can tell you that much, but I don't think it's going seven either. I could be wrong. We're going to find out soon enough, but I like Golden State in six. Next on the show is a kid who has to have a Golden State of mind at this point. I had to sneak him in because it's a Bay Area team against a Canadian team. One of Peyton Crib TV's best hockey analysts, Francis Seldorf, is going to tell us what we should see from this series. Fran, your thoughts? What's up, Peyton Crib TV? I'm here with my sleeping, or almost sleeping, doge. And we're here to give you <clears throat> our NBA Finals prediction. And while we would definitely like to see the Raptors win, it's hard to believe that the Claw will be able to drag the entire Raptors squad. I mean, they have some good players, Kyle Lowry, Marcus Gasol, sure. Um, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. Even, you know, with Kevin Durant maybe not playing in the beginning, um, I just don't see it as enough. I'd say the Warriors in five or six, even though it's at the time we're taking this, it's game one. It looks like the Warriors are gonna, uh, Raptors are going to win game one. But yeah. All right. Peace out. One thing that makes Peyton Crip TV a ton of fun and really special is that it's always a team effort. Yeah. Next on the show, we have a couple of guys who want to let you know their predictions for these NBA Finals. Zach Travellini, Winchester native. Um, I'm going Raptors in seven. I think Kawhi is better than KD. Uh, that's all I got to say. Andrew Hall and Winchester Mass. Raptors in four, Kawhi Leonard. That'll be a warm up. <laughs> Joe Gogan, formerly known for Joe's Corner on Peyton Crip TV, making a comeback. Joe Gogan's thought is, I got Raptors in six. Six gone. Break, you know, break the curse of Drake. You know, he's picking lint off the hat. Six gone, six and six. I got the Raptors in six games. You know, I got Raptors in seven. This is coming from Trey Brown. Straight out of Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Uh, that man Drake, he plays the mental games. You give Raptors home court at seven. Man, he's got you. Man. Not a big fan of Drake myself. I don't like his talking on the sideline. Mad Sab, Dover, Rezzy. I got Golden State in five. Have faith in number two one, Jonas Jerebko, former Celtics player. Ooh, former Celtics, my guy. Wow. BS in six, baby. Shouts out, Payton Prim TV. Shouts out, Payton Prim TV. Next on the show is someone who is a gigantic fan of this guy right here, the Greek Freak, and was sad to see him go these playoffs, but gave us his thoughts nonetheless, Jack Winston. Hi, I'm Jack Winston. I'm from Newton, and I'm saying the Warriors in six, and you're watching Pain Priv TV. Next, we're going to hear from Barry Gallup. Barry Gallup here, reporting from Peyton Priv TV, uh, 2019 NBA Finals prediction, going with the Raptors. You know, always been an underdog. Everyone's rooting against them. I think Kawhi Leonard's going to be the difference. Should be a great series. Well, folks, that's about all the time we have here on today's show. Oh, my own prediction. My prediction wasn't changed after Game One. It was actually reaffirmed. I predict that the Toronto Raptors will pull off perhaps the upset of the decade and beat the Golden State Warriors in six games for the NBA championship. I mean, hey, I love Canada, I love Kawhi Leonard, and I love underdogs. That's the perfect trifecta right there. I mean, for the first time in the history of Peyton Priv TV in the playoffs, I have no horse in the race. I have no dog in the fight. I just want to see some quality basketball games. It's that plain and simple. And with that, we're going to bring the show to a close. Thank you all for tuning in. If you like the show, make sure you click the like button. If you want to see more of our content, click the subscribe button. You'll get alerted when our new videos come out. If you want to let us know your thoughts and predictions for this series, leave a comment down below. We'll respond to you. We love hearing from you. Leave all the comments you want. And make sure you tune in right back here next time to Peyton Priv TV. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger?